animal. <laughs> Yay, the animal. Oh, you weren't loaded. Pretty sure you can't reload that in a pinch that came fucking bonks. God, I love being right sometimes. I know that you did that in his face just to try and prove me wrong, but... <laughs> Shut up! Turn it into luck. Add the miss! Oh, I love it. You're like, I know what weapon I'll use for Harlan that's hardest of all of them to aim that I have to reload in his face. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll show her what for. Oh, well, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> At least we saved. I really don't like how perpetually fucking dark it is here. I'm not gonna lie. Can you look up what Kalabala means in Finnish? Sure. I'm just curious. I died, so. Oh. And now there's not a guy there. What the fuck? Oh, Kalevala is the name of a collection, a, a selection of uh, Finnish poetry. Ah. Oh my God, they're the knights of poetry. At least they don't say. Me. <sighs> Welcome back to character select. Dave Scout V Remedy Dream Team. The more I learn about all of the writing metaphors in this game, the more I like it. Oh. And the more I hate it. It's the percolator. <laughs> Yay! Is there a fish in it? You know, that would just be like the oh, ultimate inside joke. Yeah. You just go to the percolator and there's a fucking fish in one of the cups. That would be amazing. Yes, so Kalevala, as in the Kalevala Knights, uh, is a uh, 19th century compilation of epic poetry compiled by Elias Lundr from Karelian and Finnish oral folklore and mythology. It tells the story of the creation of the Earth. Oh. Interesting. And the retaliatory voyages lives. between the peoples of the land of Kalevala. A devil with a prize lured the animals to, to his boat, all shiny and new. Who would float and who would sink? Asked the devil with a wink. The moose went splash. The deer sailed on. But which one of them was therefore gone? So, deer in there. Below the moose. Down, down, down. Uh, moose. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Look at you go. Oh, the deer's gone. Flipped upside down the bumper boat that had the deer in it. And now you can stand on it. Time to do a platforming puzzle. Uh -huh. I cannot move out there. But surely that did so something. I'm getting quite the charm collection. Yay! A little charm collection. How charming! Always after Increases me lucky damage charms. Still on low on health. You know what? Equip that immediately. Uh, do that one. Clearly, no. For flavor, you got to keep Logan's charm the whole time. Come now. Well, yeah, all right. All right. So that got us a charm. I just remembered that there was, like, this little tiny patch there that was flooded, so that's why we went there first. Do, 
It's just it is very earwormy. Yeah. I hate it. You hate fun, Dave. You hate fun. (laughs) Uh, They found out my secret, everybody. I'm going to have to commit Sudoku. Sudoku. That's my secret, Ken. I'm always doing Sudoku. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I'm doing Sudoku right now. Very I don't know why there's something like enhanced level redneck to see a palette on the floor that's been painted as the American flag. Like, come on, man, you could have bought the flag, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're all out of propane, and now you aren't. Propane and propane accessories. That was the name of one of the episodes. <laughs> Spelt correctly, P R O dash P A I N, of course. Wrong button. Okay. Almost there. I'm actually kind of curious as to why A, nobody is answering the phone, and B, why Casey is not answering the phone. Something happened to Casey? Something better not happen to Casey, I tell you fucking what. Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Great. Love this. Creepy little hut in the woods. Little house. And a wolf. And two wolves. Who let the dogs out? I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. That wolf has the shadow speed. Nice of the wolves to just let us walk on in here. Yeah, they were just being show. Just some good, good puppies. Some good now, boys. He, now he's not waving a crossbow at them. They, they're not going to throw down. Thought that was a charm. Turns out it was a pen. Yeah. Which could actually. Don't worry, it's mighty. Yeah. Um. Did it they just open the, the door? door? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it's just a small, it's a smart, good puppy. You can just close it again. It's whatever. I'm sure it doesn't mind. There we go. It clearly, it just wasn't on the latch. It was like, what, was you born in a barn? Fuck it, it opened the door again. Ah, it's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> what a smart boy. Uh-oh. And a quick boy, too. What a good puppy. <clears throat> That's fucked up. <laughs> Hell yeah! I just like I like that the idea that you're like, oh, I'm safe. I can close the door, and it's a stupid dog. You just let me walk in. I can't believe it. And then, again, featured moments later, violence. Oh dear. Who's your good here? Gotta pet all oh, the deer. baby. Pet him. Pet him the deer. Is there an achievement for petting all the deer? Oh, almost certainly. <sighs> I haven't looked gotta at be any tro- of the achievements, but I there's mean- gotta be a trophy for it. Surely Alan can't follow me upstairs. to pet the deer trophy. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Monster. Maiden. Oh, shit. You could go in the mind palace and speak with the deer head. It tells you how many deer are left to pet in the game. What? You go in the mind palace. Hold on. <sighs> Oh, more FPC. Experiment PFNR23, codenamed Beauty and the Beast. Testing the perfect environment for each case, test case, uh, or creating the perfect environment, has become the crux of my study. However, I'm certain that setting the stage in a sufficient, convincing manner will make the fiction come into existence. I am now going to use propping in the way a set designer of a feature film would, making the cabin seem like the actual house of the characters depicted in the rhyme with small personal touches and realistic items. In addition to a few key items, 
uh, such as the drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It's crucial to gain traction with this. The dimension opening I'm attempting to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. Oh, boy. Science run amok. That, yeah, I would have hoped that Jesse would have told people to stop fucking around with shit. Right? Like, I get that we need to experiment to uncover objects of power and AWEs, but also, you know, fucking don't be an idiot. Also, I can't go to the mine place right now because I'm not actually safe. <laughs> Speaking of... Poor puppy. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. That poor beeb, look what you did! The size of those paws. Oh man. Them heckin' pulbs, them them chunky tappers. There's another one out here. Is there? Yeah. I'll let him live then. I would. If he lets me live, I will let him live. I don't call what has been mapped. Gotta leave him alone, him got big pulbs. That dog got a head stuck in a tree. Why would you do that to him, the poor baby? You fucking monster. He was leaving you alone. He even decided to not look at you. Shit. Gotta put him out down like old Yeller now. Fucking get juked. <laughs> Music? You're freaking me out, man. Hell yeah. You get what you deserve! Okay. Got it. Jesus. Now, Mind Palace. <laughs> now, Mind Palace. Yeah, you can talk to the deer and he'll be like, Yo, what's up? You gotta pet a few more deer. Really? Seven remaining. Oh. Thanks, Deer-chan. Seven remaining. Okay, I was just checking to see if the mouth moved. But it didn't. Alright, so the note upstairs implies that there is a rhyme around here, and there it is. There's a rhyme over here. Okay. A young woman, eager and smart, ventured into the woods of the Beast Slayers. The king of the forest stole her heart, and now they live without a care. I don't want to fucking kill more wolves, man. Really? Hmm. Okay, so it's not the monster. Do I have a king doll? I don't think I do. Oh. Keep trying. No. No. Doesn't look right. Oh, God, no. Oh, bear fuck. time, baby! A bear. Oh, boy. I hope you're ready to fight a bear. Well, the last time we did something like that. Okay. I don't worry, it's from the dog you blasted. It's absolutely not from the dog I blasted. I wish it was. Handgun. Oh, it's just shadowy de um, deer scat. Don't worry about it. It's... Actually, we know that's just old spaghetti sauce. God, I honestly, like, absolutely love the style of these big wood cabins. They're so nice. Looks like it went upstairs. Everything's all messed up. Yeah. Because, you know, a bear. <laughs> yeah, but the last bear. time we did this, there wasn't actually wolves. Burr! Yes, I got the fucking tutorial, Jesus. Increases <laughs> damage dealt while undetected. Oh, skip that. <laughs> F FBC charm. Yep. Hell yeah. Hey, you're still not done upstairs. Get back up there. What? There's nothing else up here. Isn't it wrapped around the left there? That's your right? No, there's nothing there. Uh, other side of the landing. Isn't there a way around there? I mean, there's the bathroom. Yeah, I was, I was maybe there's going to be a bear in the bathtub. 
<laughs> just chilling, just being like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it would have been great. Also, I really dig the stuffed raven up there. Never more in the shit out of that uh, deer statue or the antlers. Yep. And there's one over the fireplace, too. Never more. Don't like that. I think you're a little worried right now. You should turn off your torch if you want to uh, not spook her. Man, the, why are the enemies so buggy today? He just stood there and just, like, didn't do shit until, he, like, way after. Yeah, do you being so weird. Yeah. Shit. I took off her mask, but it didn't hurt her. Yeah. Heard that clink. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's so buggy at the moment. Doing the fucking hot stepper. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? I'll goes. take it. I will 100% take it after those fucking wolves. <laughs> Jesus. Huh. You at least you got both out. Um, bolts. I got two bolts back. I used three. One hit the uh, mask. Oh, of course, right. The mask one. Alright. Let's get the fuck back to Bright Falls. This place sucks. <laughs> Coffee Maybe World does still not singing. suck. <laughs> no, watery sucks. Coffee World is fine. It's promoting a good product. But it also killed the moose, so, you know, I'm kind of conflicted. Well, that's true. <laughs> Don't feed them coffee. I mean that seems obvious in retrospect for most people. Live and learn. But not the, not the Koskala brothers. Okay. Quick save. Go here. Drop this off. Okay. All right. So we just need to get back to the car. Maybe Adi's still singing. I don't care. Impressive if he was. <laughs> Just it keeps going. It's killing me. It's the gold saucer all over again now. Oh, That's about the dead saucer. moose. God damn it. Yes, thank you. My insanity needed a fucking outlet. Oh my god. Jesus. It's not as bad as the old classic. <laughs> I just realized. Hmm. Coffee yeah. World isn't actually designed to work. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, high pollen cat today. Actually, um, there's no parking. It requires a lot of people, but there's nowhere for them to park. Hmm. So it's not designed to work. I imagine that there, there is usually parking, but isn't at the moment. Alright, so crossing the street, the sun's coming up. Maybe parking somewhere else and they bus in. Maybe. They straight bossing. Uh, oh dear. Oh my. Oh dear. Guys? I don't think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this, like, off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Drink more coffee. Do you need a security blanket? You need Blanky Blankerson? You keep Blanky out of this. I would yeah, totally that'd be a dick. Shoot, would totally shoot that guy if the game would let me draw my gun right now. <laughs> Just fucking pull on him. Okay. 
like the show that Artie fella put on today. I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. Are you coming? Gonna need a bigger bracelet. No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Nice. Like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Bring out your inner Wolverine with armor beer. Who the fuck are these? I'm guys? wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine <laughs> like an asshole. Thanks, <laughs> armor beer. Armor beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. All in one gulp. Oh wait, while building a summer car. While actively avoiding small. Oh, okay, no, that's the, <laughs> that is the best way to drink it. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. <laughs> In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pipeli from wandering eyes. Or <laughs> taking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsari Kamit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intention of <laughs> That is a real thing, <laughs> and it's such a great thing. It's, it's not sad of his intention. But that is that is a real <laughs> thing. The the Finnish get drunk at home holiday. Wow. I unleash your inner Wolverine. Hi. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Kalsik in it. The Finnish word. It means drinking at home in your underwear. With no intention of going out. Yep. Oh. Let's go backstage. Oh There's yeah, what, of course. Yeah, tra it translates. Here, it translates to pants drunk. <laughs> All one word: pants drunk. <laughs> Love it. Hell yeah, more bullets. Yeah, the reason I came in here, in case anybody was terribly curious, is because I knew that we weren't able to go backstage when Ati was on the the stage. Uh, so. yeah, yeah. Oh, and we can switch reality. Oh yeah, I love this fucking bit of Wikipedia here. Uh, to a large extent, this is still considered the Finnish way of life, possibly related to the stereotypical lack of social context among Finns, which is kind of fucked. And then, but then followed by the statement, the forced isolation of people in their own homes caused by truth created a global trend for this drinking habit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They, oh they, they, they straight up have said that that particular don't say it out loud or get checked by YouTube sickness created a global trend for getting pants drunk. Wow. Uh, okay, right. Don't want to reload the revolver. Gotta remember Correcto. that. Also, anytime we see Ati and the janitors, there is a bucket that we can look in. Hmm. All right, next time on Character Select, back to Alan in the Dark Place. Are these stories happening concurrently? Consecutively? Does it matter? Probably. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And who's Alan? Scribes it's Alan. Closing in, gaining control. I couldn't let him escape the dark place. I had to keep the memory of Scratch. Yeah, it's scratched out. Uh huh. And covered in blood. Blood. Nice.